Hello everybody, a warm welcome to this presentation. My name is Ebenezer Graham and I'm going to be talking about the notification microservice. Now, this is the project I did during the GSOC period and I'm going to be sharing it with all of you. Um, I'm going to talk about the main goals of this project, um, talk about the system and how it works and demo how it works and then talk about future development. Um, the main goal was to create the notification microservice itself, right? Um, with the SMS and email functionalities, um, incorporate the service into the demo server and then create a user interface in the Fims web app. These were the three main um, goals. Now, the overall aim of this project is to keep members of a typical MFI uh, updated on what's happening on the account. The account could be created, activated, logged, closed, reopened, um, so many events happening, right? Um, we could have a loan being disbursed or denied. Um, these are relevant events to a customer. And so it's good to keep them updated as these events okay. So I'm going to talk about how the system works. Like I mentioned earlier, there's so many events happening in other microservices, right? And so these events are being published into the active MQ and we have dedicated GMS listeners receiving the events and then using the payload to retrieve customers. So in a typical customer event which has been emitted, the payload is going to be the customer's identifier. So using the customer's identifier, we retrieve the customer and then retrieve the contact details, right? We have two parts, like I mentioned, email and SMS. Um, we send out the email and then we send out the SMS independently. Now you would all agree with me that mobile phones are very ubiquitous in developing countries. And so it's very important that we have this functionality in there um, so that we can create a financially inclusive service um, in unbanked and unconnected regions. And so I'm going to demo how the system works. And then from there, we will look at uh, future development. Um, sorry, I had to restart the system. Um, so typically you would create a customer account, right? And most of the uh, most of these suggestions are being shown because I've been typing them over and over again. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to open my email, also activate a customer, for instance. Um, activating the customer, uh, we can then undergo several tasks, right? Um, so as you can see, we have customer activated coming in. We have customer created and then we can lock an account. So bear in mind, as these um, events are happening on an account, um, the user is getting these notifications live, right? Um, we can go back, we can unlock um, a customer, um, and then it will instantly reflect on their phones or emails. We can we can then um, even update a customer's account, right? Um, they move. They moved. So, updating their account. 
um, you're going to end up with an, e uh, an SMS coming through um, account has been updated or your address has been changed um, an account such as an event such as account has been closed for instance um, will trigger a notification informing the customer that their account has been closed um, you can then reopen it so if you notice all these events are happening um, coming through um, yeah um, so this is how the system is going to be functioning right um, as events happen the customer gets the notification and um, in future what we want to have is um, a UI for admins to be able to add their configurations right um, SMS and email configurations and then create uh, official templates for sending out events and so an admin can add their SMS gateway um, they can add their email server uh, input the details and then use that um, they can also enable or disable specific uh, notifications right um, also they can create specific um, messages for particular events right um, if you notice what we had was sort of hard-coded for testing purposes right but we want a more authentic message going to the customer and so we want to allow the admin to um, create official messages for specific events so this is some of the future developments that we want to touch on for some of the future development we want to have um, portfolio events right if you notice we didn't do anything on portfolio events um, portfolio events we are looking at uh, loans uh, individual loans loan disbursement um, loan denial uh, payment acceptance and all of that also we want to look at message localization and templating right um, message um, we want to look at message localization and templating uh, we want to look at subscription features right um, we don't want to be sending out unsolicited emails or SMS and so members should be able to subscribe or unsubscribe to SMS and emails um, we don't want to infringe on anyone's right so these are some of the nice to have features that we want to look at in the future and hopefully this whole system will be fully fleshed out and will provide a lot of benefits and improve KYC for um, MFIs using Apache Finrak CN. Thank you for joining this presentation. Um, see you.